Welcome to Hitman Boxing, and I'm back with some more news. So today they had the weigh-in for the Ashley Theo Payne and Adrian Broner fight that takes place tomorrow, April 1st. Um, man, this dude Adrian Broner can't catch a break, man. Uh, Ashley Theo Payne weighed in at 140 pounds. Adrian Broner weighed in at 140.4 pounds. So they gave him two hours to lose the weight. Um, and, you know, come back and weigh in, you know, at 140 or under. But guess what this nigga Adrian Broner decided to do? He opted out of doing that shit. And by doing that, he vacated his fucking title. So tomorrow, April 1st, um, if Ashley Theo Payne wins the fight, he will win the belt. But if Adrian Broner wins the fight, he does not win his belt back. It is still vacant. So... I'm not sure what's going on with Adrian Broner, but clearly he's not focused on the task at hand. We always hear this shit about how we're about to see a new AB or AB's about business now, but he's still doing the same old shit, man. He came in at 140.4 pounds, man. I know it's, it's, it's light, you know what I'm saying? That's just a few pounds over 140, but, but still, man, I mean, he's not mentally stable, man. Just he got to come in at 140, man. So, I mean, it's, he's had a lot of shit going on, man. Like this whole, you know, this whole shit with with the legal troubles, man, where he allegedly assaulted this guy and robbed him. And you know, recently Floyd Mayweather just he just ethered, you know, Broner, man. He he had a lot of shit to say about him, man. I almost felt uncomfortable listening to the. To the interview that Fight Hype conducted with Floyd Mayweather, man. But, I mean, A.B., he's not about business, man. Like, Adrian Brown is going to have to win. Like, he's going to have to win convincingly tomorrow. Like, not a 12-round decision. He needs to stop Ashley Theo Payne. Like, he has to stop this man. Um, he has to win in an impressive fashion. Otherwise, it's to me, it, it means nothing, man. If he wins a 12-round decision, he was supposed to do that. But... He's fighting somebody that's not even in his league. He needs to win an impressive fashion, man. All this shit going on in his life, he's got to win impressively, man, for this shit to mean anything. He doesn't have the belt anymore, so he's got to put Ashley Theo Payne fucking down, man. He's got to stop. He's got to knock him out. He's got to do something, man. He's got to show us something in the ring, man. And I, and I know he has all the talent in the world. He just always has poor execution. He's never fucking disciplined. And that's what pisses me off about Adrian Broner. You know what I'm saying? He has all this talent. And he takes the shit for granted, man. He takes that shit for granted all the fucking time. He should stop a he should stop fucking Ashley Theo Payne tomorrow. But let's let's get into what Floyd said about him, man. He was saying some real fucked up shit about him, man. Some things I had never even heard before. He said Adrian Broner was an alcoholic six months ago, man. You know what I'm saying? That's some that I don't I haven't heard anyone say anything about that shit, honestly. You know? He you know, he he questioned who Adrian Broner really is. You know, he said, is Adrian Broner a boxing promoter? Is he a rapper? Is he a porn star? Is he a gangster? Like who is Adrian Broner? Who is he portraying? You know what I'm saying? You know, A B had a lot of shit to say about Floyd the other day at a presser. You know, he he called, you know, Bay Weather Promotions, Hey Weather Promotion. You know, just sending them little jabs, man, that Really didn't mean too much, man. But Floyd really took that shit to heart, man. You know, he, he said AB stands for always broke. That's what Floyd said. Floyd said AB stands for always broke. You know what I'm saying? Um, he even went on and said that, that um, what's his name? Um, Ellerby made more, makes more money than Adrian Broner, you know? He said he gave himself a 10-figure name, you know, about billions, and, he, and Floyd's saying he's never even seen eight figures or nine figures. And he's barely seen seven figures. You know what I'm saying? He was just trashing Adrian Broner. And that shit was just, man. AB's got to win in impressive fashion tomorrow, April 1st, man. Otherwise, I'm, I, I'm done with this guy, man. Like, he's gotten all the chances in the world, man. He's got to fucking impress. And he's not fighting nobody big either. So he should stop Ashy Theo Pain, man. I'm going to do a post-fight interview tomorrow. I can't wait to watch this fight. And then again, you know, Floyd said he's fighting on a fucking Friday. You know, he said, what prize fighters fight on a fucking Friday, right? You know, he said if he was fighting in Cincinnati, they wouldn't be fighting in a stadium. They'd be, they wouldn't be fighting in an arena. They'd be fighting in like a baseball stadium, you know? 
So, I mean, and they didn't even sell out all the tickets for this Adrian Broner, Ashley Theo Payne fight, man. There's something going on with Adrian Broner, man. Like, he got some 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 shit going on in his head, man. And he needs, he needs to sort this shit out if he expects to, you know, continue on a successful path in boxing. Because if not, he, he's going down a really bad path right now. You know, combined with his legal troubles, he's fucking up, man. And I'm just sick of, I'm just sick of seeing this shit. And I'm sick of, you know, I'm, I'm just sick of, um... I'm just sick of, uh, you know, watching this dude's fights and, and you know, just, you know, being a fan of his, man, because he's so fucking disappointing, man, and the shit sucks. So, Adrian Broner versus Ashley Theo Payne tomorrow, April 1st, April fucking Fool's Day. We'll see how that shit goes, and I'll drop the post-fight thoughts afterward. Hitman Boxing, and I'm out.